Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this React.js video tutorial, we will learn about forward ref. So forward ref is basically a advanced version of ref in React library. I'll show you how, but first of all, uh, uh, just uh, look on these points. Then we will move on a theoretical part, practical part and interview questions also. So we will learn why we use forward ref. Then we will make a child component and we will pass our ref from parent component to child component with the help of props and then we will discuss some interview questions i uh, will provide you the answer that i asked in the previous videos and again i will ask one more question you can attempt this question in the comment box if you want and uh, this is my instagram account right if you just want to join me there so now let's jump on a first question why we use forward ref in previous video we learned about the ref why we use basically ref uh, to modify the DOM or modify our HTML elements uh, like you just want to change some colors, value, you want to hide it, you want to make some focus on it, then we will use a ref. But ref we can use, use only in the same component. So let's say uh, I just want to modify a input box on the behalf of a button, on a button click. but my input box inside my another component and my button is inside the another component then how we can interact both of them and how we can just modify the uh, input box uh, on the click of button then we will basically use a forward ref forward ref is a uh, same like uh, we are just forwarding uh, the message and in this case we will forward our ref or you can say that forward reference so now just uh, move on the practical part this is my output screen and uh, this is my app.js component right i'm just going to make a button on my app.js component and uh, just write here a text update input box right but my uh, input box will be uh, present in the another component so let's make another component like uh, user dot js and uh, just make a component here so import react from react make a function put the function name like user use return inside a return for a moment i will use a div inside div i will use input box right type let's say text and uh, now just write here export default user right now what we can do we can just import this uh, user inside the app right import user from user and we can use it like this user right so now as you know the both button and the input in the different different component so that we cannot use a normal ref we must have to use for ref right so first of all i just want to uh, use here a ref on a button click so just uh, import here use ref this is a ref hook basically and why we use this hook because in this video we have the functional component right so just use here uh, choose okay sorry that's my bad i have to just import it from a react right just right here use ref and uh, now let's take a variable or war or const whatever you want and just write here input ref and uh, here just uh, get it from a uh, use ref right like this and you can provide some by default value else also I'm just uh, putting it null for a moment and uh, let's uh, pass this reference to our uh, child component right so we need to use only ref props right make sure whenever you will forward ref you must have to use a ref property only you cannot use your ref custom and all keep it ref only right and just pass here input 
ref that's great now we just uh, pass this data from here to child but uh, how we can receive it for that we need to do two, two things one we have to use forward ref as a wrapper so just simply use here forward ref and uh, just make a wrapper of it forward ref and uh, just wrap around the user and now as you know for getting the parameters we will use a props here but after using the forward ref we must have to use second parameter as a reference or ref right and uh, you can just provide a key to this input ref and just simply put here ref which we just get it from a props right so now we just pass the ref from here and get reference here with the help of forward ref that's great but uh, we did not write something here on click so that we can just change something right so what i'm just going to do i'm just going to make a on click and uh, on this click let's call a function let's my function name is in update input or something right let's define this update input and here you can just simply put here input ref dot current dot value like uh, 1000 right and now whenever you will okay update uh, is not defined sorry my bad i must have to use here function right whenever i will click on, uh, just make me refresh once again whenever i will click on it now you can see that we got this value inside the uh, input box which is present inside child component right so we can yes we can uh, change some more properties also so like uh, you just want to change some style like uh, style dot color and uh, put red color here now you can just see that this is working fine right another thing you just want to uh, make a focus on it right like focus like this whenever you will just focus it you can edit this uh, value of this uh, text box right so on a button click i just want to make a focus on it so for that what we can do we can just simply put here current dot focus and this is basically a function right now let's see whenever I, now you can see that there is a no focus whenever i will click on button i got the focus inside it right so that's the way that how we can use uh, forward ref if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video again i asked in the last video so should we use ref more or we should use states and props right so the answer is always try to use states and props just use ref inside only in urgency because ref is basically violating the rules of react js react js always said never ever just update directly your dom right but ref doing it's totally opposite but sometimes this is necess necessary because we cannot make focus kind of things with the help of states and the props that time this is okay but never use it unnecessarily and uh, for that video i have a question that here you can see that i use a uh, forward ref with the help of uh, functional component but how can i use forward ref inside a class component try to make example of it and uh, please answer it in a comment box if you want otherwise please at least read about it if you don't want to answer so thanks for watching this video bye bye take care